A San Francisco restaurant is receiving a lot of backlash after its owners decided to kick police officers out because they were heavily armed. These are on duty cops who showed up for a bite at Hilda and Jesse's, but the restaurant refused to serve them because of the fact that they were carrying weapons on them. So here's what the restaurant has put out. On Friday, December 3rd, three armed and uniformed San Francisco police officers came in to dine at Hilda and Jesse. Shortly after seating them, our staff felt uncomfortable with the presence of their multiple weapons. We then politely asked them to leave. At Hilda and Jesse, the restaurant is a safe space. The presence of the officers' weapons in the restaurant made us feel uncomfortable. We respect the San Francisco Police Department and are grateful for the work they do. We welcome them into the restaurant when they are off duty, out of uniform and without their weapons. Now, they got a ton of one star reviews on Yelp as a result of this. It was so intense that Yelp actually decided to suspend any new ratings or comments on the restaurant. In a statement, the restaurant's co-owner, Rachel Silcox, said that the restaurant was a safe space, particularly for queer and and black indigenous and people of color. She said the police officers could have made guests as well as staff uncomfortable. Nevertheless, following the incident, the restaurant was bombarded with negative reviews. One person, for instance, wrote, I would not support or recommend a San Francisco business that discriminates against San Francisco Police Department. Shame on you. Another wrote, I refuse to eat here again because you you because you refuse to serve on duty police officers. So I'm curious what you think about this, Jenk, because I'm not sure I agree. Actually, I am sure. I am sure I disagree with what the restaurant did. Yeah, I'm actually curious what you think about this, guys. That's why we're doing a poll, tyt.com slash polls. Um, I love how independent minded uh, our audience is. At least 40% of the time you guys disagree with us. In this case, I agree with Anna um, because Look, here's the situation, All right, do we need police reform in the country? 100%, are we gonna get it? No, there's no chance we're gonna get it. Democrats asked the Republicans for permission in the Senate and they did not receive the permission, so they've already surrendered. So you'll get no police reform at all because the Democrats are losers and the Republicans are monsters. That's the story you know that applies to almost every issue. Now, in this case, do you still need police in San Francisco and all the other cities? Of course you do, right? The question is, you know, what should the police handle and what should mental health care professionals handle, etc. That's why the defund police movement has the world's worst slogan in my opinion. But the idea is not wrong, it doesn't mean you take away all the police. What it says is, hey, if you're gonna deal with someone in a mental health crisis, you shouldn't send the cops because they're not equipped to do that. But that doesn't mean you wipe away the cops. And in my experience, cops have a really good sense of taste. Because <laughs> they always go to the best restaurant. No, it's a hundred percent true. I mean, it's insane. Um, in our neighborhood, there's always cops in the best restaurant. It's yeah. like a little hole in the wall Mediterranean place, and there's always a cop car parked right in front of it with cops ordering. <laughs> it's yeah. so true. Yeah, and and I don't want you to get me wrong. Not the fanciest restaurants, the best restaurants. Yeah. Okay, so if I if there's a good diner in LA, I'll see cops at it. Okay, in fact, if I go to a new place and I see cops eating there, I go. Okay, this must be good food. Okay, not I'm safe, it's just it must be good food. Now, that doesn't mean like, hey, high five on the cops, they're doing everything right. No, absolutely not. We need massive police reform. But kicking every cop out of every restaurant, that's crazy. No, of course not. Number one, they gotta eat somewhere. Number two, you need cops. It makes no sense at all. I mean, their job requires them to be armed. And so when they're on duty, they have to have their weapons on them. And so, our, yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I agree with you 100% for all the reasons that you mentioned. Now, following the backlash, the owners have decided to apologize to both the police and the community, writing this. Uh, we made a mistake and apologized for the unfortunate incident when we asked members of the San Francisco Police Department to leave our restaurant. We are grateful to all members of the force who work hard to keep us safe, especially during these challenging times. We hope this will be a teachable moment for us as we repair and continue to build bridges with the San Francisco Police Department. These are stressful times and we handled this badly. And we do wanna ask you what you think. Um, so we have a poll up at tyt.com slash polls and we're asking you, was the San Francisco restaurant right 
not to allow armed officers into their establishment for dining, yes or no? Let us know what you think. By the way, are they allowed to do that? Sure, you can say no shirt, uh, no service, right? And you can say, if you have a gun, no service. Even if you could apply it to cops. So they have the right to do it. It doesn't mean they should do it. And by the way, should you hate them forever if you're you know, on that side of the equation? No, they apologized, let it go, right? It's they thought, ah, we, they did something, I think, not out of bad intent at all, out of, in my opinion, good intent, but executed wrong, right? And, and wrong decision, but hey, they wanted to protect people of color, and, and if you're a person of color and you're you know, worried about how the cops are gonna treat you, I totally get it, you're right to be concerned on average, right? But again, you can't, there needs to be police and you can't kick them out of all the restaurants. But, but by the way, again, you guys might disagree with us and go, no, I don't want them in my restaurant. I don't want the guns there and I don't trust them. Well, that's why we ask you. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.